Hi, good afternoon. Today I'm going to make a kueh ketayap or coconut pandan roll and I've made it without eggs. It's a type of pancake and the filling is made from uh, coconut. So follow me and let's get started. 150 grams of uh, desiccated coconut. Um, you can use fresh coconut but over here fresh coconut is quite uh, difficult to get so I'm using desiccated coconut. And I'll need some corn flour, some water, it's very simple, and I might need some sugar, but I'm using palm sugar, so I will need about 100 grams of this. If it's not sweet, we can always add some normal sugar. Okay, this is about 100 grams, so that's it. These are all the uh, ingredients. It's very simple the feeling. All right, we'll go to the uh, stove and then we'll start to cook it. So we put about some water. Yeah. The sugar. So we need to boil this. But palm sugar sometimes is not very uh, sweet, so we really sometimes need to add in some uh, plain, uh, plain sugar, you know, normal sugar. For sweet things, sometimes I add a pinch of salt, especially to the coconut, so it gives it a very nice taste. Not overly sweet, yeah. The sugar has dissolved. So what we need to do is we just stick. Keep it down, yeah, and then lower the heat a bit and let it simmer and let it absorb the water because it's desiccated. So we want to plumb it up a bit so that it's not too dry. Okay, let it simmer and the water is absorbed more or less. And then you can taste whether it's sweet enough. We'll taste it in a short while. Some of the desiccated coconut is quite rough, so sometimes you buy the one that's a bit fine, so some is a bit rough, so mine is actually a combination of both because my rough one, I'm already using it up, and I bought a new one kilo pack, uh, maybe 0.8 kilo pack, 800 grams, so this one is a bit um, finer, so it's okay, it doesn't matter what size it is, I mean the, how coarse it is, it's still coconut. Mm. I think I need a bit of sugar. Maybe I could put in a teaspoon of sugar. You can add more if you want. And if you don't have um, brown sugar, you can add um, palm sugar. You can actually just add um, brown sugar. And uh, it could be light brown or it could be. Uh, dark brown or demerara or raw sugar mm, I think this is better with a bit of uh, sugar is better you taste it according to your taste yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some water to the corn flour Actually, in Malaysia, we will use pandan leaf inside here, but I don't think we need to because we're already going to use pandan essence on the uh, pancake. I want it to plumb together yeah. so that it's easier to roll to put the filling and it doesn't fall apart so let it dry a bit so it's it's a bit like juicy when you eat it and creamy you don't want it to be too dry but anyway ultimately after you learn this you just cook it to the way you like it whether you want it dry or creamy it's entirely up to you so I'm doing what I normally do. So after you have exper experiment with this, 
I'm sure you will know what you want and what you like and how to, you know, make it to your taste. So we just pop the fire and then we leave it to cool. Okay, we can actually plate it up to cool. So for the pancake, we're going to make the pancake. So normally we use uh, pandan juice from the fresh pandan leaves. But over here in the UK, we don't have that. So I'm going to use pandan essence, which you can buy in the oriental so uh, store. So what we need is we just put in the pancake with plain flour. Yeah, You can actually put this in a, in a blender, but it's so simple. I don't even put it in a blender. Then we put 350 ml of water. Yep, 350 ml of water. Just put a hole in the center and then you add slowly. Don't let it become a dough. If it becomes a dough, then it will be very, uh, it's not smooth and you have lumps. Just use normal plain flour, don't use strong flour. We need to put a pinch of salt as well here. Then we need to put the pandan essence, just a few drops. I need a few more drops. Ooh, enough, 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 enough. Ooh, that's a lot. Better to be little than a lot. And then we can add. If it's too green, then it looks a bit yucky. You can use whatever flavor you want. You can even use strawberry or mango or whatever. And this filling is only the, uh, what do you call that? Coconut filling. You can change the filling. Even use matcha if you want. This here. Just save it so that we get all the lumps out. Yeah, just leave it aside. Okay. And we'll make the pancake uh, later. Yeah. Okay. This is the pan, and I'm going to heat it up to medium, medium high. Yeah about six or seven and then we'll put some oil here it can be coconut oil or your normal cooking oil or if you don't have a brush you can actually use a kitchen towel and then dip into the oil and then you just do it <clears throat> so we're going to make a pancake yeah so if your pancake has been standing there for a while um, you just you know stir it so this the flour doesn't settle on it so if you notice the cup the uh, pancake it has sort of become thicker because when you le let it stand the starch will expand and then you will have a better texture yeah you see it's a bit thicker but it's not really it looks a bit thick but it's not it's still you know covering the ladle yeah sticks to the so Make sure the pan is slightly hot because if it's not hot enough, the batter won't stick to the pan and you can't actually, you know, move it around and make a nice pancake out of this. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, it's about, okay, it's hot enough. So I put about three quarter ladle, not too much. Put it right in the center and then you swirl it a bit. And you get a big sort of a round shape not exactly round but round enough okay and you put it on the stove again and then you see the edges are actually <clears throat> it's like changing color yeah that means it's cooked so i'm going to lower it a bit i'm going to lower it to five number five yeah mambo number five so okay <clears throat> so 
so you you see all this oh sorry so you wait for the sides to come up this side has come up but this side hasn't come out yet let me check am i on the right thing yes i am on the right thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh the here as the outer part so i'm going to put it over here okay let's switch it off okay i'm going to do it here so so here it is i've got it this way yeah and then you put about two tablespoons two heap tablespoon or as much or as big as you like but again it depends on the size of your pancake so this is about six inches that's the average so i and since i bought a scoop and i find that it's very useful because when i scoop it i tend to compact it and it stays nicer okay so it's about two tablespoons or so you know, up to you um, you might want to sort of uh, make it longish yeah make it longish okay and then you want to roll it up okay you can roll it up this way I'll show it this way better turn it this way yes you can see better and then you fold in the edges and then you roll Ooh, I put too much thing you see it cracked a bit never mind then you serve it this way see you've got one what you do is put it in the center at once and let it spread a bit and then you turn slowly in all directions the direction that you turn it, it will be the direction that the batter will flow it's quite a nice one not too bad mm, i'm happy with this so <coughs> just let it uh, let it cook this is all flip up so now we're going to do this side as the outer side so we just flip it over or we just use a pan or you can just you know like just flip it over yeah the rough side the lazy side so i'll just take again two tablespoon or so make it longish <clears throat> so another way of folding this is you can fold this way first like you do in a burrito and then you fold this way it depends on how you like it there's no hard and fast rule yeah just make sure it looks rather similar in size yeah so that's one more done we we'll add this to here okay it done and and actually you can actually serve it whichever way you like so these are the pancake Ta -da! what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut one piece yeah. and i'm going to cut it slant wise normally if we eat it we'll just eat one whole piece because <coughs> we are staying at home and we're not so, so sophisticated and we don't serve it like that we just eat it on its own so this is how I would serve it. If I have guests, if you don't have guests, it's perfectly all right. So I'll put this here, and I'll put this here. Ooh. And I'll put this here, and that's my pancake. And this is one I've already done. Since then I serve it with um, oranges, a mint, and then some icing sugar. Or you can serve it plain with some mint, cherries, icing sugar, or you know whipped cream is also good. Yeah. So this is your ketayak or coconut pancake roll. Yes. Doesn't that look nice? So this is the cake, so I'm going to eat it. Hmm. The 
coconut is creamy and it's full of pandan leaf smell mm. I think it'll taste better with a bit more sugar okay then bye mm. <laughs> another one enjoy Day. Hi, I'm Loretta Lee, Donia Recipe. I'm making videos once a day to entertain you and to show you what I have up my sleeve in terms of my food, my recipe, etc, etc, etc. So if you could please click like and hit the subscribe button and also the bell button so that you can be notified of all the new videos that I upload.